because prime time as far as I know. Yep, it's a striker player. And then very interested in this matchup now with uh, with Crusader because Crusader, again, doesn't do the best against characters with very fast buttons that can break his armor, for example. Uh, characters that are fast and can run up and grab him out of his DP. That's just another situation that can happen often. Uh, as well as characters that can just kind of advance on him. Because uh, generally Crusader wants to stay, you know, half screen, maybe three quarter full screen. Uh, and Striker wants to be directly up in your face. So, Vagamon is an incredible uh, Crusader player. It's going to be very difficult for Prime Time to get the win here, but it's definitely possible. Be sure to make your predictions in the Twitch chat as we have those live and ready for you guys. Yeah, and Prime Time just starting off. In my brain, Prime Time played Berserk. Am I? No, that's uh, primitive. Primitive. That's yep. the one because every time I type Prime Time in a Discord, Primitive pops up. There we go. That's right. Too many P's and R's and M's and yeah, this, it's, I was like, surely if I write prime, this can be the only month. Why are there still two? This is the whole word. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, striker and Vagabond. We, it, I feel like we haven't seen almost any striker recently, other than like we, we got Levi on stream a little bit, but since Luan hasn't been uh, entering these ones as much recently, or the meet as much recently, we haven't seen the same amount of striker, right? But now we get two in a row. We have not. Yeah. No, we've... Ooh! This should definitely be the kill. <laughs> Easily be the kill. Just keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't even need the super here, honestly. The, the, the Apocalypse, right, uh, I'm exactly. sure he had the kill. But he's like, who cares? I get to have a solar beam from heaven. Mm -hmm. It's 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 cool looking. Um, grow a pair of wings and have them disappear. Yeah. Crusader, use solar beam. <laughs> <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, right. but yeah, Prime did well though. He took the lead. Uh, they took the lead for the first part of that, first part of that round. Yep, and just Crusader damage at the end. Only needed, you know, the one or two openings, right? And it's funny, we talk about only needing one or two openings usually when we see like a Berserker on screen. Uh, but Striker is just, he's just, you know, a bit more frail than some of the other characters, especially compared to uh, Crusader, right? Just, just raw health values or health amounts. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Well, and Crusader, since the buff, has definitely turned into one of those characters that, ooh, is in the conversation now for only needing, you know, yeah, a couple of touches to kill you off. Right. And the thing is, Crusader used to be incredibly meter dependent and now has a ton of options that extend his combos that don't use the meter. So now your meter can build and then you, you use that meter to just blow it all at the end, right? Just get a stupid amount of damage. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, put the Wrath of God on whoever you're trying at the time. Just insert Fear of God, but... <laughs> the power of the wall compels you. <laughs> Ooh, there's a spear and runs up and grabs. Oh, this is huge for Brian Time. He's going to get all of his white health back that, uh, you know, Vagabond had, uh, had chipped away at. Yep, got all that mechanic back. I truly love in this game. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, got it all back, and while getting it all back, pushed Vagabond completely into the corner from the other corner. That's mm. even even if that was you know on block for for a portion of it, still we built that all back. And then Crusader here just says, "I don't care that you built all that health back. Now this is my corner." That's right. And uh, where did your health go? It's... Well, getting his armor stayed up here as well to throw him into that then the actual corner. Ooh, throws the Apocalypse out. That was the one thing I think Primetime could have done. And that's why Vagabond was ready for it. He's like, he's going to roll. He's going to roll again. Because he cannot take the chip damage from Apocalypse mm -hmm. and not get guard broke, not just lose all of his white health. So good good awareness by Vagabond. Yeah, and just had just so much damage just to put there too. Had the Apocalypse and just the quick 2A on one side, 2A on the other side. Got it. Oh, good opening here. Very nice. Yep, yep. again, all the way into the corner. Hmm. Let's see what the option is here. Good blocks by Vagabond. Gets guard canceled out of the corner. Good backdash by Prime Time. Okay, some footsies here. Some full screen footsies. Right. <laughs> full screen. I do, it's almost full screen corner footsies, right? His footsies <laughs> is the wall. But... Nope, you're right. Mm -hmm. You are so right. Yeah. And I like to, because uh, what we saw a lot, or uh, well, at least what we saw that was bringing a lot of success uh, 
uh, for like Luan to play was the with country, with you know striker just super fast movement speed and, and good options, right? But all yes. of Crusader's moves are so big, you think you can whiff punish, but it's like they're so big, they're almost like disjointedly big, right? Like that hammer swing, massive blow, but like it just is just sitting there active, right? And like just it's all it's yeah. all like you mess that up at all, all of a sudden you've just put yourself into a combo, especially with Crusader also having wall. You know, is that like you get clipped by anything? It's like cool, you're in the corner now. Even if they don't get a combo off of it, you have now given up complete stage advantage. But that being said, prove me wrong with punishing the hammer or the, the normal hammer move at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the five AA is a really good option to beat rolls because uh, almost all the other hammer options that Crusader has, um, you can you know you can roll on. However, yeah, if you block any of them, which they're so long range that it's very likely that you're gonna get. You're gonna block. Uh, he can go right into the wall. Go to the wall, go into his other projectile moves. And so, like, you have to proactively roll if you want to get around dealing with the wall. Ooh, Spina Witch. That was a huge roll by Prime Time. Oh, barely. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that was a pickup. I thought he was gonna get hit by the explosion and just be done. Just caught with, like, the stick end of the spear. And still got the whole the the whole combo. Oh, the run up throw, and that does it. All right, wow. match point now for Vagabond. Yeah, Vagabond showing why he is a former Mutiny champion. A a recently as well, I think it was only two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. Uh, walked away with the championship. Whoop. Okay. Good blocks by Vagabond. Front time using Strikers at uh, reverse beats to keep. Uh, the character a little bit more safe. So this is a dangerous position to be in. Ooh, perfect option. I'm gonna take Vagabond all the way down into the corner. Let's see what the option is here. Starts with the low. That was actually awesome because I was expecting to jump into the overheads, which Primetime had done uh, a couple of times. Nice. Staving off, you know, the set here. Taking the round, staying alive. Whoop. Here we go. Uh, I love seeing the one-inch punch just, like, crumple a huge character, especially, like, Crusader. It's really cool to see. Oh, nice empty jump blow. All right, Prime Time is starting to mix it up. And is uh, is winning right now because of at least winning in this game. Yep, yeah, it's holding it off. And that, that fireball just covers so much space and because launcher has i'm mean, not launcher sorry striker has the yeah like the roll or the, the roll and uh, i believe her shoulders also project off and skill, right to get through um that crusader I, fireball i believe it is the shoulder move yeah it, she's also short <laughs> right and so like some characters like uh dragon knight is is the most uh, obvious to just sprint directly underneath it because they're short and uh and yeah and striker's moves wow that is going to be the win and Prime Time keeping himself alive. Um, some here just can just simply sprint underneath it and don't even have to put out any moves. Uh, Striker's got a few moves that lowers her hitbox, and so yeah, she's definitely able to uh, to get through that projectile. Uh, that is Prime Time taking a game. Now it's gonna be two one in favor of Vagabond. I think Prime Time should do exactly what they did in that last round if they want to stay alive here. Mixing up their offense once they do get in, being patient. Uh, but not too patient, not letting Vagamon set the tone, because I feel like th this is what happens. Gets an open up, leads to 50% damage essentially, and then now you are kind of scared and stuck in this corner. Yep, I do love the round start dash from Vagabond too, just like not scared at all. That, and that seems to really be kind of what, what I've seen from this match so far. It's right, it's like, I feel like Striker has a lot of options, but... Um, Vagabond kind of just making prime time scared of using all of them or, or scared of you know, whiff punishing things or putting out buttons and getting hit for things. Oh. And yeah. That. So then all of a sudden, if you're too scared to use your option, you effectively no longer have that option, right? If you're, oh! Ooh, okay. Good. Sorry. Good yeah, probably going to be oh, not quiet. I completely forgot that now his jump medium, uh, that big old hammer that covers almost everything now like bounces and it bounces just long enough for him to get the, the full combo afterwards that was blown away that uh that worked but it totally did and that was what got him the win so now Vagamon is very much in control this is going to be a tough situation for prime time does he roll is Vagamon baiting the roll does he get just get hit yeah 
and this is going to be ridiculous damage. Yep, and again, just Vagabond just looking so comfortable and just, you know, getting the perfect here to close out the set, right? Just sat there pressing the button. Like, surely that's not a true block string of just hammer, 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 hammer in a, <laughs> in the buff state, right? But if it, it's, no, the, it's the roll. fear plus frames, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's it's the, the, li the, the literal fear of God. <laughs>